Hi, my name is Jessalene, and this video is going to be about absolute value equations, solving them. So first of all, we just want to review what absolute value is. So for example, absolute value of three, of three. So the absolute value of three, so absolute value is the number of spaces it is from zero. So if we think on a number line, and we know three, so one, two, three, we know that three is one, two, three spaces away from zero. So the absolute value of three is three. Now, what is the absolute value of negative three? So the absolute value of negative three, so one, two, three, this would be negative three on a number line, is the number of spaces it is away from zero. It is also one, two, three spaces away from zero. So the absolute value negative three is also three. So again, absolute value is the number of spaces it is from zero. So to solve an absolute value problem, to solve an absolute value problem, if we have a plus one equals eight, the first thing you want to do is solve, you want to isolate the absolute value. In this case, the absolute value is already isolated. It's the only thing on the left side of the equation. So we can skip that step. So we go on to the next step where you split this um, equation into two different equations. The first one is simply easy. You just drop the absolute value bars and rewrite it. So we're just dropping the absolute value bars and rewriting. So a plus one equals eight. Okay, the next one that you're going to do, the second equation that you're going to write is you drop the absolute value bars, just like normal again. A plus one, I'm gonna draw a little line in between these, distinguishing our two, distinguishing our two um, equations. So we have A plus one, and then instead of writing just eight, we're negating that um, opposite side. We're taking the opposite of that opposite side. So it's a plus one um, and that equals negative eight. So those are the two types of equations once you solve for the absolute value that you write. You write it just as is as you drop the absolute value and then the second time you drop the absolute value but you take the opposite of the other side. Okay, and now you're just going to solve these. If you need help solving equations, go and watch solving equations video. So we're going to solve these equations, and in this case, we're subtract one from both sides. We have a equals seven, and also subtract one from both sides here, and we get a is equal to negative nine. So a can be seven or negative nine and make that statement true, and we can, we can um, check it. If we plug in seven, seven plus one is eight. The absolute value of eight is eight, because eight is eight spaces away from zero. And here, negative nine plus one is negative eight, and negative eight is also eight spaces away from zero, so they both work. So let's do another example. Okay, we're gonna do another example here. Um, so two, Two and then x plus six absolute value equals 18. So in this case, we haven't um, isolated the absolute value. If you notice, there's a two over there on the left side with the absolute value. So we need to isolate it. So just like solving an equation where we need to isolate the variable, we do the opposite operation. This is multiplication in between. So the opposite of multiplication is division. So we're gonna divide both sides by two. Then we get x plus six in parentheses, or I mean not parentheses, in absolute value. And then 18 divided by two is nine. So now we've isolated the absolute value and we do the exact same, same thing that we did before. We split it into two equations. The first equation, we just simply drop the absolute value bars and write it as is. x plus six is nine. The second equation, we drop the absolute value bars and then take the opposite of the other side, of the other side of the equal sign. So we have x plus six equals nine and x plus six equals negative nine. And then we're gonna solve it. So um, we have x is equal to three. 
and we have x is equal to negative 15. So that is how you solve absolute value. We're going to do one more example. m minus 3 absolute value is equal to m plus 4. So in this case the first step is to isolate the absolute value. It is the only thing on the left side so that's we've done that. We don't have to do any more. The second is to write the two different equations. So the first one we just drop the absolute value bar and we write as is 2m minus 3 is equal to m plus 4. The second time we drop the absolute value bars, and I'm gonna draw a line there. We drop the absolute value bars, 2m minus three, and then we take the opposite of the other side. There's two terms on this side, so we have to take the opposite of each term. So positive m becomes a negative m, and then a positive four becomes a negative four, because it's plus four. Instead of writing plus a negative four, Remember, we can just write minus 4 to represent that that is a negative 4 because plus a negative number and subtracting it, it's the same thing. Um, plus a negative number and just subtracting that positive number, same thing. So now we're going to solve the equations. So I'm going to subtract m. I'm going to subtract m from both sides. Again, if you need a refresher on how to solve equations, go back and... Um, Watch that video, okay? Um, and then add three on both sides, and m is going to equal seven. Then over here, I'm going to add m on both sides. Three m minus three equals negative four. Then I'm gonna add three. Three m equals negative one, divide by three m equals negative one-third. Ooh, barely made it. I almost ran out of room before the camera didn't get it. So m equals negative one-third, m equals seven. And that is how you solve absolute value equations. Thank you for watching.